Hello everyone, Brigasaurus227 here. Welcome to another episode of Nerf News. We will be covering a brand new series from Elite, a new Dino Squad Blaster, and a Nerf Limited Blaster that looks like a shark. And there's quite a bit other, quite a few other things, so let's get into it. So, 2023 looks like a pretty promising year for Nerf. And let's, let me just tell you why. There is all kinds of stuff being released. Now, some of it's a little con will be a little bit controversial with some of you. And a lot of more of the diet, like, a lot of more people that are performance oriented are not going to like some of this. But I really love some of these blasters that are coming out. I really love the looks of them. Now, the first one I want to talk about is a Nerf Limited blaster called It's Illegal Legends Jinx Fishbone Blaster. Now, I don't play League of Legends. I actually really don't know what it is. I heard it's kind of dead right now, but the blaster itself looks amazing. The mouth opens when you prime it, and it's a rotating shotgun, kind of like the Judge. Now, there is one problem, and that is the $170 price tag. If this was $70 or $80, maybe even $100. That's a little bit of a stretch. But I would probably actually pick this up. This looks so stinking cool, and... Oh, I really like the look of that. I really like the judge, and this just looks like a cool, more cooler looking judge. And just, uh, the price is really expensive, though. 170 That's that's a lot. I do really like the, it looks like it has glowing eyes, which is really cool. And the look is pretty cool. So I, I don't know. 170 may be too much, unless it's like really insane quality. But yeah. So, let's get into some other blasters. Oh, hang on a second. It looks like there's a trigger. The trigger is built into the priming handle. That's interesting. Well, now I'm curious of how the mechanism works. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. But first, before I continue, I do want to say that the image credit is from... Um, image credit goes to Blaster Hub and Phone Quest. Their links will be in the description. Buff Day Nerf and Phone Quest, their YouTube channels. Really, Both are really amazing channels, and you should definitely check, check them out. Their Instagram, they... And on Phone Quest Instagram, they constantly post, he constantly posts things about brand new blasters coming out, so you should definitely check that out. But yeah, really cool blaster, looks amazing. It's just way too expensive. Next, we have a brand new Elite line, Elite Juniors. Now, there's a couple blasters in this series. We'll start with this blaster pack. It seems there's a two-shot blaster that's kind of pump action. It actually looks kind of cool. I, I don't know why, I kind of, I kind of dig it. Then there's a I guess Nightfinder style blaster. These look interesting, and depending on the price, I'm actually not a hater. It kind of this pack looks kind of cool. I wouldn't pick. I'm probably not going to pick up this pack, but I will pick out the. I probably will pick up the other blaster, and that is the Rambler and Elite Junior. I like the idea for little kids because Nerf has kind of been that middle ground. They've never done like super young bla theme blasters. I just hope the performance doesn't absolutely suck. But the black, the Rambler looks so cool. It looks like it's a 10 round. Is it 10 round or 8 rounds? It looks like 8 rounds. Okay, it's 8 round cylinder. It just looks kind of cool. And I don't know how much they're going to be. But I'm hoping that at least the Rambler will be around like a 20-ish. I would probably pick it up then. Pretty cool blaster. Honestly, it looks, the Rambler looks good. But the others, I'm not so sure about. But anyway, I actually am a little positive over this series. It's not meant for us, and it looks like a, some pretty decent blasters anyway. So yeah, As, hopefully they have screws, and then that'll just make them pretty good. Next, we have some Fortnite stuff, and the first pistol, I guess it's like a the dual Fortnite dual pack, the LP and the Flintlock. The Flintlock looks amazing. Is it hammer? It's hammer primed. Oh, I'm uh, I want that. So that's. That's pretty cool. There hasn't been really many flintlock blasters in Nerf. There's been the Busby version, but this is cool anyway. So if you want to, ever want to do real pirate cosplay, you can kind of finally do it. It's been a while since you've been able to do that in the hobby, except for the Busby thing, which is kind of rare. It lets you find the cheaper version of Cracker Barrel. Then you have another thing, which I'm assuming is hammer primed as well. It looks like it. it's a pistol, kind of like a Glock or something. Pretty cool. Nothing really interesting. I mean, the pistol, the other pistol is not too interesting, but worth noting. Then there's the showdown set from Elite 2.0. These actually look cool. It's like a double jolt. I actually always like that kind of style blaster, and you get two of them. I mean, if it's like 10 bucks, it's definitely worth it. I'm assuming it's going to be around there. 
So it looks pretty cool. I actually like it. Next, we have my favorite one. The, what is it? The Tarot deck. The tar Oh, I love that name. And a lot of people are complaining it's not a crossbow, and I definitely agree with that. It, it should be a crossbow. But if you look closely, it seems to have some kind of clip holding the wing thing on there. So maybe the wings can come out when you prime it? I don't know. It's a theory. But if you take a look, it looks like there's a clip holding it, and the wing is like... Not, it looks like it's not part of the blaster, like it comes off. So, that's pretty cool. It's a four-shot pump-action blaster. You're not going to like it if you're performing it, if you're performance-oriented. But it's still pretty stinking cool if you're a dinosaur fan like me. And I am definitely going to be picking this up. It's probably, if it's 15, if it's in the $15, $20 range, I think it's worth it. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is Nerf News. Thanks for watching. Not a, a, a few good things for 2023, and I'm kind of excited. Like I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. My junk drawer, my junk drawer. So many things I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go. No, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.